most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course. Bob. Today, we're going to go over three simple rules for arranging your home and work when you have back pain or sciatica. These are very simple, uh, but it's actually very helpful. This right. uh, drives my wife crazy when I think this way, but <laughs> this works really well. So, three rules. Number one, for the items used most frequently, especially like on a daily basis, you want to pl place them at a level between your belt, which is about right here, right, and your shoulders. Because obviously you can use your back without putting a lot of stress on it. Right. So I can even lift a, what is this, 30 pound weight right here and see how I can brace my arms. And right. I, can, I can lift it up really nice and really puts not a lot of stress on my back. I'm not bending over. I'm not lifting up over right. my head. So. Yeah. Boy, if it's that heavy, the waistline is a really good place to maintain right, it. Right, right. You don't even want that up on shoulders. Right. So, so you got to use some judgment there. But where my wife and I differ on this uh -oh. is that she doesn't like pots and pans, you know, to be in the on the upper cabinets. Sure. But I, some of those pots and pans I use almost daily. Right. So I'm like, I want to put them up in the upper shelves. And so so who won? She did, of course. <laughs> I'm, I'm reaching down below in the yeah. worst place ever. Yep. So, and even with, you know, food that I use every day, I try to put it on a level that's... Right, and that uh, goes with the refrigerator as well. Yeah. Uh, keep those items at your... Garage, at work, everything. You mm -hmm. want to keep on that, that magic space. Right. Now, how about a lighter object or if it's a less frequent object? Right. Well, you can go up especially if it's a lighter object and you use it more frequently like uh, dishes, glasses, right. even something like this where you can hold it with one hand, then you can put those up in the upper level. Yeah. Uh, if you're, if it's, even if it's a light object or a heavy object that you don't use very often. Um, where are you headed with this, Brad? <laughs> so, well, I just thinking, I don't like to put anything down low in the cupboards down here yeah. unless I'm not going to use it very often. Right. I'm saying, yeah. If you're using it maybe once a month, that goes down below. Right. And even then, if it's a heavy object, you're going to want somebody to lift it for you. Right, right. So, um, you know, really, this is the magic spot for lighter objects up here. Right. Um, and maybe less frequent objects because you don't want to get shoulder problems either. Sure, but, sure. Um, and then if it's a, a very rarely used object or a heavy object, either you got to have somebody help you with it or... You you uh, put it down below, and even when you do that, you want to you don't want to bend over as much as possible. As much as possible, you want to kneel down and uh, grab. I'll, and, I'll show from this yeah, side. There you me. go. So you you imagine that that buoy stick or that stick. So you're maintaining that posture, and you're going to go down. Oh, I know. What I was going to say, Bob, is even the light objects, just you because know, you can hurt your back picking up. Something that weighs a half a pound if you do it wrong. Oh, right. You know, low. So exactly. just avoid that lower level uh, at all, with all costs. Yeah, you, you can be picking up a pencil off the floor. And if you do it wrong, you're putting stress on your back. So, right. yeah, we really don't like below waist um, unless you do like the lunge, right. like Brad just showed. Uh, otherwise, try to avoid it and definitely don't be lifting heavy things, especially when you're having. You know, you're in the throes of back pain or right, sciatica. Right, so. exactly. All right, thanks for watching.